what lies beyond the edge of everything we know. Somewhere out there in the silent reaches of space, something terrifying yet mesmerizing awaits. It has no surface, no color, no light, just a bottomless pole, a black hole. Today we're diving into the most mysterious object in the universe, the black hole. We'll explore not just what it is, but what lies inside it and why scientists believe it may hold the key to understanding reality itself. We'll look at groundbreaking theories, real life observations, and a mind bending paradox that forces us to rethink everything we know about physics. A black hole, a monster with only three defining numbers, mass, electric charge, and spin. No matter how it was formed, no matter what it swallowed, no matter where in the universe it exists, these three parameters are all it takes to describe it. But how can that be a planet needs thousands of variables to define its geography, chemical makeup, and atmosphere? A black hole swallows entire stars, planets, even civilizations. And yet all that information is supposedly erased. This is what physicists call the no-hair theorem. It suggests black holes are utterly bald, no distinguishing features beyond mass charge and angular momentum. Let's imagine a black hole born from a dying star, which had oceans, cities, even books filled with knowledge. According to this theory, all that becomes irrelevant, the black hole doesn't remember. Or does it? This forms the core of the infamous information paradox, a battle between Einstein's general relativity and quantum mechanics. Einstein's theory says everything is swallowed and erased. Quantum theory says information can't just disappear. So which is right? To answer that, we must go back in time. It started in the 1700s with English parson John Michel. He imagined a star so massive, not even light could escape. This was long before Einstein, before quantum theory, before the term black hole even existed. Fast forward to 1915, Einstein's general theory of relativity redefined gravity, not as a force, but as a warping of space-time. Then Carl Schwarzschild, serving in the German army during World War I, discovered an exact solution to Einstein's equations. It described a region of space-time warped so intensely that time itself stops at the boundary what we now call the event horizon. Here's where things get interesting. According to Schwarzschild's math, anything crossing that invisible edge is trapped forever. And at the center, a singularity, an infinitely dense point where the laws of physics break down. Here we enter the unknown. Let's imagine you're an astronaut drifting near a black hole. At first, everything seems normal, but as you approach the event horizon, things change. Time slows down. The light from stars behind you warps and spirals. If you cross the horizon, your fate is sealed. Space itself is funneling you toward the singularity. Your body stretches a phenomenon physicists call spaghettification. Gravity pulls more strongly on your feet than your head. You're torn atom from atom. But to an outside observer, something strange happens. You appear to freeze at the edge, slowly fading as the black hole's gravity distorts your image. This bizarre distortion is what makes black holes so fascinating they play by rules we're only beginning to understand. In the 1970s, Stephen Hawking changed everything. Using quantum theory, he discovered something shocking. Black holes aren't completely black. They emit radiation. Here's how it works. In the quantum world, particles and antiparticles pop into existence near the event horizon. Normally, they annihilate instantly, but if one falls in while the other escapes, the black hole loses a tiny bit of mass. This is Hawking radiation. Over time, the black hole evaporates. It shrinks. It dies. But here's the twist. What happens to the information of what fell in Hawking initially thought it was lost forever. But that contradicts quantum theory, which says information must be conserved. This led to the black hole information paradox, a problem that remains unsolved. Real life example, the discovery of Cygnus X1, an X-ray source in space showed matter falling into a black hole, glowing as it heated. It gave us our first clue that Hawking's theory might be observable in real systems.
To solve the paradox, physicists turn to a radical idea, the holographic principle. Imagine everything inside a black hole is actually encoded on its surface like a hologram. This idea comes from Bekenstein in Hawking's discovery that a black hole's entropy, a measure of information, depends on its surface area, not volume. This flips our understanding of space inside out. If true, it means our universe could be a hologram. Not just black holes, everything might be encoded on a distant boundary. To visualize this, think of a 3D movie encoded on a 2D disc. The experience is full and immersive, yet its data is flat. This concept has reshaped string theory in modern physics, offering a potential bridge between gravity and quantum mechanics. In 1995, two physicists, Andrew Strominger and Kummer and Vafa, studied black holes using string theory. They looked at a simplified five-dimensional version, and to their surprise, they were able to count the number of possible microscopic states, and it matched the entropy predicted by Bekenstein and Hawking. This was huge. It suggested black holes do have internal structure, and perhaps information isn't lost, just scrambled. But here's the catch that was a toy model a mathematical black hole in a simplified universe. Whether this applies to real black holes like those in our Milky Way is still unknown. In 2019, we got our first glimpse of a real black hole, a blurry image captured by the Event Horizon Telescope. It showed the glowing ring of matter spiraling into the darkness. And in 2015, LIGO detected gravitational waves, ripples in space-time from colliding black holes. These discoveries confirm Einstein's theory in dramatic ways, but they also raise new questions. Can we ever see inside a black hole? Some physicists suggest that information might leak out through subtle quantum channels. Others propose that black holes have a firewall, a searing wall of energy, at the event horizon that burns anything entering. Still others, like Roger Penrose, argue for the idea of conformal cyclic cosmology, that black holes might be gateways to new universes. Could black holes be more than collapsed stars? Some theorists propose their data vaults preserving all the information ever swallowed. Others suggest their simulations, computational artifacts of a deeper digital universe. And in spiritual circles, black holes are sometimes imagined as portals to other dimensions where time and space unravel. Real life example, Ton 614. One of the most massive known black holes has a mass over 66 billion times that of our sun. Its size is so staggering that it challenges our understanding of cosmic growth. So what have we learned? Black holes are simple yet infinitely complex. They obey the rules of both classical gravity and quantum chaos. They force us to ask, or ask hard questions. Is information ever truly lost? What happens at the singularity? Is our universe a hologram? And most importantly, how do we unite gravity and quantum mechanics into one theory of everything? Each discovery brings us closer but also deeper into mystery. Black holes are more than cosmic vacuum cleaners. They are keys to the ultimate code of reality. Inside them may lie the answers to our biggest questions about space-time and even existence. Until we can peer past the event horizon, we are left with echoes and theories. But those echoes are growing louder. This is not the end of the story. It's only the beginning. 